Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up a D-Link IP camera. This is the DCS5020L with pan tilt. And to set this up, you'll notice that in the box it did not come with a CD. So to get the software, just head to mydlink.com slash support. And once you're at this website, you have a number of choices. You have your software for Windows, for Mac, and you also have your quick start guide, you know, you upgrade your firmware if you want to do it manually, and also a user manual. So I'll be demonstrating this on a Macintosh computer. So I downloaded the Mac OS Setup Wizard. I've already got the software downloaded, so I'm just going to run it. And then run the Setup Wizard. So say I'm also running this on the OS X uh, 10.9. This is uh, operating system Mavericks. I'm going to choose my language, start. This setup, this setup wizard, it's very simple. So essentially, it even has visual guides. So I'm going to read to the conditions next. Now it's, it's going to tell you to plug in the, the cloud camera. Plug in the Ethernet cable, then plug in the power cable. Power adapter, LED. So once the power LED is a solid green, it'll go from a red to a solid green, then hit next. Yes, it's a solid green. Now on your computer, it's going to scan your router, which your D-Link is also connected to, and when it finds it, it'll be listed right here. If there's more than one D-Link camera you own, they'll all be listed on here. So since this is the first setup, it's going to ask you to specify user ID, well, the user IDs are there, admin. So it's going to ask you to choose a password for admin. I'm just going to put one in, and now I'm going to hit next. That took about 15 seconds. I would have just fast forwarded that part. So now the next part is choosing whether you want this to be connected wired or wireless. For me, I got this camera because I want the wireless feature of it, or it makes things a lot easier. So I'm just going to choose wireless, and now it's going to scan my wireless network. Okay. I found my wireless network. Let's put in a password. Hit next. That's the confirmation that I can unplug the Ethernet cable. So any of these wait times, these wait bars, I will just fast forward through those. All right, now it's time to enable your D-Link service, or basically say how you want to connect to this camera. If you already have a D-Link account, just enter your user ID and information here. Or if you need to create an account, this is your first D-Link camera, I would recommend choosing this because it does make the setup easier in terms of trying to access the camera from outside your home. Or if you want more manual controls of your camera, and basically you want to handle the port forwarding yourself, you don't want your video to be routed to another to a D-Link server, you want everything to be contained and essentially all administered by you for security reasons perhaps, then you basically want to choose this so that you're not using your cloud network, everything set up manually. So I already have a D-Link account, I'm just going to enter my information here. Okay, it's all set up now. This cloud camera, I can even create a shortcut on my, on my desktop for this if I wanted. Sure, let's do that. Now let me log in and demonstrate it. Now, one of the things that on the website, the dealing with website, it uses Java. So um, Apple stopped issuing Java directly. They essentially said if you want to use Java, you need to head to Sun's website to download it. So I already have the Java GRE, Java Runtime Environment, installed on my machine. So I can just basically keep sitting yes, yes, yes. Once I get through all these yeses, I'll show you where to download uh, Java for Mac computers. All right, so it's operational now. So to get Java on your computer, essentially just open another browser, another tab, and type in java, J-A-V-A dot com slash download. And here you can download it directly. Just click on free Java download if you want, want the latest version. Thank you for watching the setup video of the D-Link DCS 5020L. Stay tuned, I'll be making more videos. I'll be demonstrating the video quality of the daytime, nighttime, and even motion detection. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. 
Thanks for watching Walker Hamster.